Sarasota County Sheriff Tom Knight used the high profile road rage arrest of an immigrant in the country illegally to highlight the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office partnership with Immigration and Customs Enforcement and call for continued reform. SNN Samantha Sonner has more. 30 year old Magdiel Madrano Bonilla is charged with aggravated battery and currently under an ice hold at Sarasota County Jail after entering the U.S. illegally in 2014 and claiming asylum. While he has no criminal history here in Sarasota County, Mr. Bonilla is what I believe a prime example of the kind of individual who should not belong here in Sarasota County. Bonilla's case was not scheduled to be reviewed till 2019. This is an example of how the breakdown of the policies and the laws over the last 20 years that have not been updated and our congressional leaders haven't finalized anything on us to give it some clarity. Knight says two years ago, Bonilla would be released on bond. But our relationship with ICE is 100% better now than it was two years ago. The sheriff's office contacted ICE about Bonilla, who placed a hold on him. So this individual tries to bond out and go back out into our Sarasota County community. He'll be held for up to 48 hours for ICE to review him. The new housing agreement went into effect in January. To date, since this agreement went into effect, the Sarasota County Jail, the sheriff's office, has held 26 individuals for ICE. Of those 26 holds, ICE has physically picked up 11 individuals to take to Miami-Dade County for deportation proceedings and they're still interested in the 15 others that we have here in our jail. Knight says the agreement is worth whatever it may cost the county. If we can get people who are committing crimes our community identified, held safely at the jail, removed, sent to Miami-Dade County, that removes them from Sarasota County community and their ability to commit any additional crimes. And so that's, I don't look at it from a financial standpoint, I look at it from a, a citizen safety standpoint. He says the program can also help prevent crime. They understand that if they come to Sarasota County and commit a crime, their likelihood of getting held at the jail and removed from the jail and sent back home to their country of origin is very high. Reporting in Sarasota, I'm Samantha Sonner, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Samantha, thank you. Sheriff Knight says the program also allows immigration and customs enforcement agents to pick up people safely.